So as a tech YouTuber, I'm always looking for different topics to talk about. And mostly, to be honest, I'm, talk, I'm looking up for iPhone 15 news and leaks and rumors. And I stumbled across uh, what I would say almost every tech page out there was talking about one issue specifically with the iPhone 14 Pro. And uh, that's the battery. So there has been a lot of rumors, a lot of talk about the battery for the iPhone 14 Pro. Almost every person that owns an iPhone 14 Pro around me has reported that there are battery issues and this was brought up by Sam from Apple Trek where, where he tweeted that uh, his battery for the iPhone 14 Pro fell to 10% in just 11 months not even a full year and the funny thing is that I even before this so a week before all of this started to happen I was on the lookout to buy an iPhone 14 Pro for myself and I thought it was a good time to kind of upgrade uh, to the iPhone 14 Pro because obviously iPhone 15 is coming out so prices are gonna be a little bit cheaper and then I have uh, uh, a few friends around me that upgrade phones every year. So I knew that he was gonna buy the iPhone 15 that was coming up. Uh, so uh, I asked him if he wanted to sell it to me and uh, he was open to the idea. So I, I kind of got the phone from him. I started checking it out. And to my surprise, the battery within 11 months was down to 88%. So that's a 12% uh, decrease in the battery life just within 11 months. And that kind of surprised me a lot because the iPhone that I have uh, with me, the iPhone 12 Pro that I've been using uh, daily for the past two years, and I use this like crazy, like I, I'm kind of like a phone addict. I cannot live without my phone. I'm always on my phone at all times. I have to keep on checking and I have to keep on doing something. My battery after two years is 91%. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's at 91% after two years. So the big question is, what is going on? What is what is actually happening here? Because every person out there is reporting this, and this is thousands of people, not just a handful of people. Now, battery degeneration is considered normal. We know that with lithium iron batteries, they are gonna degenerate, and there is a normal threshold, but what is beyond normal? The normal is where, according to Apple on their website, it's mentioned that 500 cycles is what your iPhone is supposed to last or at least 80% battery. So if your phone goes down to 80% or it charges 500 cycles, that's when you actually should now change it. Now, how do you measure 500 cycles? Well, that's really, it's it's a little bit tricky. A cycle is basically going from 100% uh, to zero. That's considered one cycle. It doesn't always have to be from zero to 100. It can be charged to 50 go to zero and then charge to 50 again, that's also gonna be, uh, gonna be considered a, a cycle. Or as Apple uh, shows here, 75, 25, whatever the number is, that is going to be considered one cycle. So 500 of those is gonna be considered uh, when you actually have to change your battery. Now, what is uh, the battery cost uh, if you wanna replace it? Considering that this is a real problem now, there are gonna be people that want to change their battery, but this is I wouldn't actually recommend that because I would want to hear from Apple and there's a possibility that Apple may uh, have a recall for the iPhone 14s or they may actually decrease the prices for the battery replacement, which is still not fair because at the end of the day, Apple is still gonna be making money. Now, this is not something that Apple has done on purpose. I really don't think they have. Uh, they're, but they're, they have to still investigate and we still are waiting for them to, to give us a response as to what's happening and why their batteries specifically for the iPhone 14 Pros are, are going bad. Now, if you talk about cost, uh, if you have Apple Care, then it's completely free. And uh, if your battery hits 80%, then they'll go ahead and change it for free. But you have to pay for Apple Care in the first place. The second thing is if you don't have Apple Care, then if, and if you just want to change your battery, it costs $100, which is the highest that it's ever been. So this price has been going up every single year with every new iPhone. The battery replacement cost usually goes up. I think last year it was 80 something dollars. This year is $100. And if we if we convert that into dirhams, looking at the official website for Apple AE, uh, it's around 385 dirhams. Now, if you talk about theories, what is the possibility or what is the reason behind this? Uh, well, there are a few theories that people have been throwing out there and some of them actually kind of sound crazy, uh, but let's go over them. So the first one that I heard about, which is uh, uh, the always on display. Now, always on display was something that was recently introduced with the iPhone 14 Pro. And uh, a lot of people actually don't have always on display. And everyone that I know or everyone around me that owns an iPhone 14 Pro has never used uh, the, the always on display. The second theory is MagSafe chargers. MagSafe chargers heat up your phone and heat is not really a friend when it comes to your battery. But then again, everyone around me that had this issue on their iPhone 14s 
never use MagSafe. They always use the regular chargers and they actually use the five watt chargers, which is the slowest one and which is the best one that I also recommend because the slowest your phone is gonna charge, the longer the battery is gonna last. Now the third theory, which is the most craziest one that I've heard is that there's something in the air. And by something, it means uh, the heat. Well, obviously this was a pretty hot year and there were several records broken. So a lot of people are saying that overall, you know, uh, uh, the phones just being exposed to sunlight or just going outside um, have uh, uh, have an effect on, on the battery. Well, I, I, I understand and I agree. But then why has it only affected the iPhone 14 Pro? So why has it affected other phones like my phone or the iPhone 13 or other iPhones that people have been using? Why is this only with the iPhone 14 Pro? So again, this is not really a valid reason. Now, I didn't know what this was until I saw Sam's video where he actually did a test and he tested eight iPhones. And out of eight iPhones, he determined that the one running at the highest temperature was the iPhone 14 Pro, which was running at an average temperature of 27 degrees uh, Celsius, which is very hot for a phone. And that is probably the only reason uh, why this is happening. I mean, testing it out of eight phones and the iPhone 14 Pro being the only one that's running at the highest temperature has to be the reason why the battery is degenerating so fast. But why is it happening? Is it the A16 chip? Is it not as efficient as we thought? Is there something deeper that's causing this? We really don't know and we're still waiting for Apple to actually give us a response on this. Many channels have uh, have reached out to Apple and, and Apple really hasn't gotten back to anyone, uh, but we're still waiting for them. And what I would like to see Apple do is acknowledge this issue and actually admit that there is something going on. Again, I'm not saying that they're doing this on purpose, but at least the acknowledgement is, is, uh, is gonna be at least satisfying for some people that want to use their phones for the next, let's say three, four years, because not everyone changes their phones every year. Now, a lot of people buy their phones uh, to, to use them for at least two, three to four years. Uh, before this, I had an iPhone XS, which I used for four years. And uh, I, uh, by the time I sold it, after four years, it had 80% battery. So after four years of everyday use, it was at, at 80%. So that kind of tells you that there is actually something happening. There is a visible proof, actual proof, that there is something wrong with the iPhone 14 uh, battery. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, let me know what you guys think about this. And if you are facing something similar, let me know down in the comments below. And uh, I really hope that we hear back from Apple. Let me know your thoughts about this and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bye-bye.